so in this video we will be learning how to create a multiple form where there are multiple forms like step 1 step 2 step 3 if you have filled forms you should know this that sometimes there are multiple form ui where are the, the multiple elements so where in the first uh, form you're going to fill your name and it says next you go to the next form so there'll be step 2 and then you go to the step third step and then finally you have completed finishing the form so we'll be building that using react and we'll also be uh, using something called materialize css which is uh, super important which is also very uh, uh, used by all the web developers and front end developers so firstly let's start off by opening git bash and here let me make it a little big for you so that you can see it and right here i will head over to desktop and in desktop i'm going to react apps and in react apps i am going to create an other new create react app npx create react app and i'm going to call this as um let's say multiple or if it's too big i'm going to call it multi form it's a basically multiple form uh so yeah okay so once uh this has been done this has been completely installed successfully we can go ahead and close bash uh git bash and react apps should have our uh this thing so let me open up my visual studio code open my folder that is nothing but um multi form so multi form is multi form so i'm going to select my folder and once i select my folder that folder is going to open up i'll just tell you the structure of our app um so source will have components folder in the components folder we're going to have uh the main uh js and the personal info uh component then we'll have your info that is the final step where all the info will be displayed that will be a component and the about that will be the second step where you will write about yourself in that form you can create this form for anything you like now let's say if you're in a travel company a travel company would want a form for its customers if you are in some company like uh, uh a company where which sends students up to abroad like which helps them with their visa and getting their education in a college you can create a form where the students can put their information of what they have studied what their cgpa is and all that uh, so we'll create a form something similar to that now firstly i want you to head over to google chrome and in google chrome I want you to head over to this particular website called materialize css just type materialize css on in google and the first link that is materialize documentation or materialize css.com which can be put directly here go to its documentation so in this uh, app I, as i said earlier we'll be using the materialize uh, a modern responsive front end framework based on material design it is something similar to bootstrap if you heard of bootstrap it is something similar to that but so we will be uh, doing this so instead of wasting time on css and all that we can just directly do this and there will be no css and all that you can still make some changes so go to getting started in the documentation and as you go down as you scroll down a little bit you see something called cdn and here i want you to copy the first link and copy the entire thing properly because if you make a small mistake then it won't work so copy this and once you've copied you can minimize this go back to your visual studio code and in public the public folder not the source folder the public folder head over to index.html and here if you observe it says compiled and minified right here so this this link i'm talking about this link you have to put it exactly right about this you see title let's just remove this these comments just the comments so do you see the title so just before the title inside your head uh, not inside your head literally but right here the head tag 
inside it you paste it that is control v or you can paste it once you pasted it you can see the cdn right here the link and we can change the title name to um multiple form form all right so next link will be right from the same web page and you copy the next link that's the script cdn so this will be right up above the body if you observe javascript is always the end because that will make the application faster so this cdn which is a script tag will be just up above the body and i hope you see this clearly so this is just above the title the first link and uh, the second link is just up above the body so put it exactly right here and save this that is control s and you can no you don't have to touch it ever again that's about it we won't be messing with index.html just we won't be uh, clicking on public anymore the public folder so firstly let's make some changes let's head over to index.js let this be as it is and then let's head over to app.js in app.js you can clear the entire return um just this right here you can clear this and in app.js first let us start off by uh, opening a div giving it a class name of um app and let's give it a style of padding that will be um uh, two rem all right so we can close this now and inside this inside this div tag let's open an other div and we'll give it a class name of content so all the content will be inside of this div and we will be importing so we can remove this logo and yeah we can save this for now so in your source right here click on right click on source create a new folder called components and inside of this folder i want you to click right click on this folder and go ahead and create a new file called main.js and inside of main.js i want you to firstly import react so this is where most of our things will be uh, this is one of the main obviously it's called as the main so it's a main component from react now once this is done i am going to obviously create a class called main which extends react dot component and let's create a constructor and give it a props let's give it a super props and let's create a state object the state of will have multiple things so i will explain all of these so let us put all the objects that are required all the properties that we will be using in this app so firstly it's going to be first name in our step 1 so that will be first name and that will be empty obviously then there'll be last name all of these are empty uh, values all right so then next will be i will be putting something called your or if so if you have done btech or if you have done something else you can say btech course and so this this will be step 1 and these will come in step 2 but they're all in the same state object so don't write step 2 or anything as such it's they're just objects you will understand a little further on these are just values and let's say my cgpa and then um, they will ask you for the pg course so let's say you're applying for a company or some education um company which you want to go study abroad so they'll ask you your name where you studied which course 
and uh, which PG course you want to do and what your what was your CGPA and all these things that they might require as document for documentation and the country where you want to study or sometimes it can be which country you are from whatever you want to specify you can be more creative and make changes to it so right after this um that's about it for this and later let's render it right inside of our class not outside our class so one bracket just up one bracket now here let's render it and let's render method and inside this let's return mm, yeah so let's put a div or we can actually just um, open and close you know, because it needs to have a root div so you can just open and close and inside of this you can start putting your values so firstly I'm going to say h2 and inside this I am going to show the step so there will be step 1 step 2 and step 3 and each of them are in different web pages so this will show the step values now this will be set this dot state dot step now what I am pointing to at is this value I am trying to get this value we have done this before and I am just putting it here so which step and how many steps do we have we have three steps and there we will be displaying all our values now after this um, actually this much is enough for now I am just going to in app I am going to call the main so I am going to import main component from um, so we created a new components so components because it's in app app.js is not inside of the components folder so you have to come out one and if you go to inside components and inside of components it's main so let's save this and start up our local development server and right here npm start all right so it's giving us a warning so the warning is obviously we have not put the main so nothing will be displayed uh, so main component right here now let's save this and it gives us a warning saying the main component does not contain a default export so in our main .js component we have not exported it so there's no point in importing if we have not exported it so import export default uh, main now there should be no errors it's compiled successfully okay you can see the step one of three of uh, the whatever we have put right here in our main.js so this is being rendered right into our application now it looks okay so we will be all right so next uh, what we're going to do is let's create um, so first let's create a um, uh, method up above render just up above render this method name is called as uh, show step and we are using we are using ES6 obviously which I have taught earlier so in this show step uh, method what happens is if we are in step 1 of step of 3 it will show us the first uh, component the uh, wherever the step 1 component now if we are in the second step it will show us the second component and if we are in the third step we will, it will show us the third component so that is what this method does now we can just call it right here by saying um, this dot mm, and it is show step method so yeah that should be good enough because this will be returning a component you you might feel that there's no HTML here or anything as such it will this will be returning components 
uh, so we, in those components we will be putting hjsx so nothing to worry there now in your so uh, step component first let's start off by saying if this dot state dot step that is here we are accessing this so if this is equal to is equal to is equal to 1 what it has to return is we have not created it but it has to return us some value and it will return us a value that is a component so let's go ahead and create the component but before we do that it is just showing us an error the the visual studio showing us an error but it's all right so create a new file called personal uh, which will give us the personal info about the person so pr so an error personal dot js and we can create this right here and then we are going to obviously import react from react all right after this we're going to create a class called personal which extends react dot component All right. So inside of this, I am going to return now. Here, you will we won't be using um, all the JSX and CSS and all that because it's just too much uh, effort. Because we're learning React and not CSS or HTML. You should have learned that earlier. If you haven't, you should go ahead and learn that because those are the basics. Now instead of doing that, let's head over to Google Chrome. You head over to Materialize and come back to the same page. And here you can see Forms. Click on Forms and you can go down and go to Text Inputs. And here in Text Inputs, you can see how it can directly come from here. You don't have to do anything. So just put the CD and links. Now just copy the first name and the last name these two or we can just copy the entire thing and then later delete it or because we don't want any mistakes so let's just copy the entire thing just copy this link the first one and open it up and right here just paste it you might be shown a lot of errors so first let's just delete whatever we don't want that is right from the row going to yeah so I am going to delete from here so be very careful about the divs so this div is closing right here I'm just de deleting from the next one and all the way down till um, so let's just delete it though let's see if there are any extra divs so this div row is getting closed here, form is getting closed here, this div is getting closed here. So we can delete another div and this is showing us an error because input needs to have a different kind of closing tag because in react that's how it is. So once we have done that, it's still showing us an error. Let's check it out. So this div is closing right here. And this div closes here. And okay, so we can delete another div. Okay. So this div is here. Okay, so by in the end you should have um exactly in this format. So two divs and one last div and a form in the middle. Three divs in total and a form in the middle. So a div, div, a closing div, a closing div, a closing form, and then a closing form, a closing div. Uh, the reason it is not it's showing these red lines here, these errors, is because we have not put our render method. So just add your render and close the tag here right after the return. 
and that uh, those red lines are gone it's no there are no errors so please check um, you can pause it and check it exactly like this it should not be showing any errors there should be equal number of divs closing equal number of opened divs all right so we need to make some changes here and we need to add a button as well so first let's add the button right from our material.css so go down to components and in components you can go to the second one that's buttons and right here I don't want the a tags I want the button so keep going down until you see the submit button option and just copy the entire thing that is control C or copy head back and right after the form uh, just before no after the div I'm sorry right after the div just paste it and now it is showing us a red line so our visual studio code has detected some error that's the, the reason is it's outside the div so there's no root div let's just give it a empty root div now empty root tags that is just open and close right here and yeah so open it here and close an empty one right here there's no full stop okay. so the red, you see that there are no errors okay so everything's done the button has also been added now you can change the color of the button you can put a color here by saying red blue green whatever you want you can make such small simple changes you can change the size of the button now, I don't want it to be a submit I just want it to be a uh, next because it's multi-step right so next and we can export it now so let's export default called the personal where all the personal information is there that's like just the name that's the first name last name and all that is already there so we don't need to do anything else right now it's that's about it for this so let's save it now let's save main dot uh, okay here we have to add our component so first let's import our component that is personal from first and we will be putting it here so we will be returning the tag Now save that. Um, let's see if there are no errors. All right, so it has compiled successfully. Let's go check it out. So you must see uh, this right now. This form you can make it smaller because in our app dot that is our the default that is app dot css will have some thing okay so we can either remove this or we don't have to import it in our index.js let's see what will happen if we remove this we can add some styles a little later okay so this is not that go to your app.css Control A will remove this, save this. Let's check it out now. Okay. Yeah, so you can remove that. And when I go to my console, let's see how it looks on a mobile screen. Okay, it's quite responsive. Let's just change it to another phone okay that looks quite responsive even on a mobile phone so when you use materialize or something like bootstrap they come with a responsiveness so even on the mobile phone it can be viewed all right so you can enter your name you can enter your last name and whatever it is and you can press on next obviously nothing's going to happen now because we haven't implemented it so head back you can close all of this you can remove all the app app.css and index.css you can remove all the values and take it off and just let it be so next what are we going to do 
Next, we can do something like so. We have already created. So go to your main.js. Now here, close index.js and app.js. Okay. So here we have created show step. We have created. We are showing the step. So if we want to go to the next step, we need to create a method for that. So let's create the method for our next step. So next step is equal to. We'll be moving to the next state. How do you do that? So we will be changing the state. So the next step is basically this value has to change from one, two, and three. Right. So this dot set state. Open the brackets. Open the curly brackets. And right here, say step. This dot state dot step plus one. Right, so the value gets changed from one to two each time we press next step. It will go. So the next step will be in a different component, obviously. But if we press plus, uh, if we press on the button, and this value will change. So the next step method will be fired, which will be triggered. So I will explain it. So after next step, we should also create. Um, there is no semicolon here. Because obviously this is an object. Now, obviously next step. So if you want to go to the previous step, now in step two or step three, you want to go back, make some changes. We can always do that, right? So we will change it to previous step, and we'll give it a arrow function, and say this dot set state. So I hope you remember how we had used the counter app. Now all those concepts are going to come to use right here, and that's the reason uh, that was a little bit more focused on because all those those are the basics fundamentals which will be used here. So step will be this dot. You guessed it right. It will be this dot state dot step minus one. Now that is done. That is ready. Next we will head back to our personal info and let's make some changes there. I'm sorry, there's no semicolon here. Now we can save this. And let's see if there are no errors. All right, so there are no errors. Everything's perfect. We have created two more methods. Okay, so head back to your personal.js, and here in your so first let's change all the class to class name because later on it will show us an error. Now when you go to your console, or actually let me just show it to you. If you go to console, so let's close this. It is showing us an error saying, "Did you mean the property class?" And it also shows us the HTML for which React does not accept. These are HTML tags and not React. So we'll make those changes first. Now just select this and go on with the Control D. So it will select all the names. But be very careful. Do not change the class to class name, which is the main class. Do not change it to class name. Be careful about that. See, it has been selected now. But it's okay. First, let's just change it to class name. And for the class, be very careful right here. For the class, no, it should be just class. Now we can save this. And when we go and see, you won't see that error, but you will see the for ht HTML for error. We'll make that change as well. So when you come here down to the label, you can see this. So HTML and camel case for. And similarly here, that will be HTML camel case for. When we save this, it will show no errors. That is perfect. Now, when we press next, it should go to the next one. So let's create a method right here in button. Now here, right inside of this, I am going to say on click. It has to go to the next one. So on click, I am going to say this dot next. It can be this dot next. So this method shall be defined up above, up up, just below. Sorry, just above return and yeah. So just above render as well, and just below react dot com. So that method is next. Going to give it an arrow function with an event. 
me make some space. It's just about render. So the method is defined here. And we've actually done this here by passing props. So we will pass the props back to main. Now this is nothing but e dot prevent default and this dot props dot next step. Now what is this dot props dot next step? This means that I am going to press next and this method gets fired and in turn what this does is it goes down here goes to this dot props dot next I'm pro passing it as props I'm going to go back to main.js and I'm going to receive it so that is going to receive it as props so this will be all be transferred via props now here I am going to receive it and in our main.js I am going to say next step that is the method is equal to this dot next step so yeah that's how we're passing the prop so when we press on it uh, it comes right here triggers this and the step value gets changed and here the value gets changed from 1 to 2 and the page goes to the next one so to go to the next one we have to handle the change so let's create an other uh, method called handle change where okay so let's just create it here so let's create a method called handle change and this will take input and um, it will take event I'm just using basic arrow functions right here I'm going to change the state and once there has been a change in our component right here in this place where we will be putting it as props we will do it as input is nothing but e dot target dot value so it'll target it and change that value um, let's just close that and if it's looking a bit messy let's just make some space all right so the source step is done the previous step next step the handle change is also done so we have handled the change so here we will have to implement it we'll be sending it as props we'll be handling the change so handle change is equal to this dot handle change method all right so now i think we can save it so um before we do that let's pass it as props to the handle change here right here so let's pass it const handle change is equal to this dot props so change, sending it as props as I said earlier as the handle handle change happens it will be sent as props to here and this will be displayed alright I think there are no errors ok then it looks like there is some error ok we not used handle change anywhere so but first let's put this as with after row let's see enter your personal information okay so when we click on this it has to handle the change right so that's the reason we implemented all the props so when we input some value there has to be some change so in your input method you're going to say on change we're going to handle the change so basically what we're doing is when we uh, input let me show it here when we put our values here and when we press on next it has to handle that change when we input the values and go to the next step so for that we're doing the handle change 
method so on change is equal to handle change and what we are sending will be first name as argument it's as simple as that and you can remove the placeholder because that is causing a problem and we can we have to add an active thing because i will show you what the problem will be later on because okay so there's no placeholder here i believe okay so there are no placeholders hmm it's still showing us some error oh obviously it has to be inside the render how will it receive the props if it is not inside the render right how that was a small mistake let's save this and let's save main.js let's head over to our google chrome okay so it says enter your personal information i don't know why it looks so big though you can i think you can make it smaller okay. let's try making it a bit smaller let's change this to Then and see how it's going to change. It became a little smaller, but that doesn't matter. It's okay. You can in increase the padding and make it smaller, or uh, just some simple CSS. Okay, so let me enter the name John, and here it will be Do. And I'll click on next. It will head over to step two of three. So obviously we are stuck here because we do not have the previous button. Uh, so let's just reload it. Okay. So also I want to tell you something about uh, the React extension. So you can see this cons in con in your console. I don't think components and profiler is seen because I have React uh, Developer Tools extension enabled. So head over to your extensions. you will find it you will find it here more tools go to your extensions and here type react developer tools you can install it i it's all i already have it so i'm not going to install it and once you've installed it you can see it right here enable it and you can it can be seen on your tab and how this works is is basically you can see your components so it, when you go to your developer tools you can go to your components right here you can see all the components of your web app press on main and when you click on main you can see all the uh, objects that all the state that you've created the bt core cgpa country first name last name so the only thing we have and the step values uh, in the default it's one so it's one now here i'm going to type something and you can see there's a live value changing there can you see that so john do can see the values changing here um okay okay um so last name is not changing for some reason let's go see why it isn't it has to handle the change okay all right so the reason uh, the value is not coming is because we have not put our on change the handle change method right here so on change the value needs to get updated and it has to return it as props it has to send it as props so inside your input once again inside the input tag not outside the input tag inside the input tag change it from this to last name save it now let's try you can see john right here i hope you've uh, you should have paused it and installed developer tools and the last name shall be do and the value can be seen right here okay so this is very important please do make a note of developer tools it comes very uh, much as a handy let's close this for now when you press on next go step 3 so let's create our step 2 and let's create a form of personal details right here not personal details but information personal information right here which will give all the information that as the cgpa or the pg course or the course that btech course you're doing all that will be here and in the third step 
all of them will be displayed so this is a multiple form so this is what I meant by the step 1 step 2 step 3 you can go ahead add CSS it will be the same concept so that is not a problem